In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to use campaigns inside of your HubSpot CRM system. I'll go over what they are, how to set them up, how to manage the tasks and the calendar as well, and how to see all of the assets and track the metrics behind those assets as well. So you'll be able to easily see the success of your campaigns inside of your HubSpot CRM system. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to HubSpot for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below, it really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into your HubSpot CRM system, you're gonna to come to the home screen. Now, of course, we're heading over to campaigns. So let's go to the marketing drop-down menu and then go to the campaigns area. Now, as you can see, I have not created a campaign yet. And firstly, let me explain what campaigns are. So essentially, it allows us to associate different things inside of HubSpot with a campaign. So when I say things, I mean landing pages, I mean forms, call to actions, social posts, all of that we can associate with a particular marketing campaign. And we can have many different marketing campaigns inside of our HubSpot system, but it just allows us to connect them all to one place. And then we can track that information so we can see how successful or unsuccessful our marketing campaign was. So firstly, what we wanna do is we want to create a campaign. So if we press the create campaign button, you can see it here as I haven't got any, but if you have, it will be at the top right hand corner. So let's press that button. And then the first thing we need to do is give our campaign a name. So obviously make it applicable to your campaign. Obviously this is my example campaign. So I will give it that name. And then we need to assign an owner. So who is responsible for the campaign, who is in charge of managing it, all the tasks that need to be completed. So you can select anyone from the, um, from the HubSpot system, any of the users. Now moving on from here, you're gonna to wanna to set a start date and end date for your campaign. So this is when your campaign starts, when it ends. Maybe you're doing a Halloween uh, campaign, you'd obviously have it a couple of weeks before and then just after the, um, the Halloween holidays, things like that. So I'm just gonna do 14th to the 19th. So next week we are running a campaign and we can assign a nice color if we would like to. So I'll make it a nice red. And then here we can kind of write out a goal. Now these are not specific, these are not numerical goals. I will come onto that in a moment. These are just general, what are we trying to achieve from this particular campaign? So maybe you want to increase signups um, or and absolutely anything. You can just put it here just as an indicator for other people looking at the campaign, just see what's going on. And then you're gonna to wanna to decide on an audience as well. So who will be trying to target with this campaign? So maybe we'll say marketing managers, that's our target. And then our budget, how much we're willing to spend, maybe 1500, that's how much we want to spend for this particular campaign. So once you've entered in all of the relevant data, then you need to go ahead and press the create button. So we press create and now we have our campaign live. This is it, this is what we're gonna manage everything from. This is where we're gonna connect our landing pages, our forms, our social posts, absolutely anything. We're gonna connect it all to this place, right? So firstly, we have got the performance. So you can see sessions, new contacts, influence contacts, and you can also see the number of deals you've closed as a result of this campaign. So you can see why this would be such a valuable tool because it allows you to track all of the information as opposed to uh, just having it in different places in the system. It brings it all together and makes it so much easier to evaluate and then improve your campaigns in the future. Now, I mentioned goals. As you can see here, we've got sessions, contacts, influence contacts, and close deals, like I mentioned. We're probably gonna to wanna to have goals for our campaign. So in order to do so, just go to the actions at the top right-hand corner, and this is where we can press the edit goals button, and we can actually decide on the goals that we'd like to achieve for the campaign. So I know we're running for five days, so let's say I wanna hit a 1,000 sessions. Maybe I want out of that 15, 20 new contacts. Influence contacts would be 10, and then I wanna get five closed deals. Just a completely random idea. And then you can say revenue as well. So what, what is my anticipated revenue? What is my goal revenue for this campaign? So maybe I say 20,000 for the campaign. So once you're happy with that, just press the save button and you will see here this information will update. And every time you get a session or a new contact or a closed deal, the figures will update and we'll be able to click on that and see who they are. So we could see the new contacts. We could also see the closed deals as well, what, which deals were closed. So we've now got our goals. We've set up our campaign. So this is very, very valuable information. We'll be able to see any uh, contacts that are created 
And moving on from here, we can see the attribution as well. So this is all of the assets and what they are driving or what they're bringing in. So you might find that a landing page is doing really, really well. And then a social post is done really poorly. And you could, and there might be vice versa. And you could look at all the assets associated with the campaign and make an assessment on what is and what isn't doing well. And you can track all of the metrics associated with it. So you can see here interaction type by contacts created, um, asset by contacts created, things like that. Unfortunately, we don't get deals or revenue. That is part of the enterprise version. This is the professional version, although that would be even more valuable to see. Okay, maybe the show, social posts have done really poorly on creating contacts, but maybe they've done really well on deals and driving revenue. So again, gives you further scope into what's performing and what's not performing. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have access to that. You can change the date format so you can get um, a better idea of the date range. So maybe you just want to see how the first two days performed out of the five day campaign. You can change any of that information, but I'm sure you are familiar with HubSpot. And then moving on from attribution, we can go to assets. Now, obviously assets are actually adding the different components to the campaign. So the landing pages, our social posts and things like that. So it's very, very simple to do. Just press the add asset button. And it will give you a list on the left hand side so you can add ad campaigns blog posts call to actions emails landing pages social posts static lists that you've created absolutely anything i know i've got a few this is obviously a demo account so i've not got many examples as you can see but i know i've got some landing pages as we were clearly done a few test runs on the landing page and so if i just add the example landing page to this campaign this is now an asset as part of the campaign so Anytime someone lands on that particular landing page, then it will add information. You'll be able to see the performance metrics change for the campaign. And maybe you have multiple landing pages and obviously you have um, ad advertising as well going and you can just add all of these additional assets. And if you are on this page here, you can see at the top right hand corner, you can additionally add assets from this area. And again, let's say we've got an ad campaign. So we've got our Halloween ad campaign. We want to associate that with our Halloween campaign, the the actual general campaign that we're doing, we could add that and then see the metrics as well. So see what's driving new contacts um, and deals and revenue as well. And then moving on from here, we have our tasks. Now this is obviously internal. This just is this is just a way of managing any tasks that need to be completed for this campaign. So maybe you need to set something up or send an email or go live with something. Then this is where you can do that. Just press the create task button and it's exactly the same as any other task inside of your HubSpot system. So if I just call this example task, we've got type. So what type? Is it a blog, email, landing page task? So maybe we need to do something for the blog. Obviously, this is associated with the campaign. We can assign it to someone inside of the system. So um, you need to do this. And then we can give them some notes as well. So maybe we need this due for the start of the campaign. Or maybe we need it done today because our campaign goes live on the Monday. And then you can say when it's due as well. So maybe we'll give them uh, till five o'clock today to get it done. Once you're happy, just press the save button and then you'll be able to see the tasks and then you can tick it as completed once it's completed as well. So you know that that task has been completed for that campaign. OK, you can see all, all due today, overdue and completed as well. So it's very, very easy to manage each of your campaigns. Now, up the top in the actions area, we can also create a tracking URL. You can create the task. We can edit the general campaign information, edit the goals. We can comment on it as well if we would like to. So we can just write some comments. And then finally, if we would like to, we can delete it. Now, we are in the specific campaign area or we're on the campaign page, but if you press the back to all campaigns button in the top left hand corner, we'll just be able to see a general overview of all the campaigns we are running inside of HubSpot. You might have the Halloween one and then in a couple of months or in months time, you're going to be starting your Christmas one. And then in January, you're going to be doing the sale, anything like that. This is where you manage all of them and you can plan well in advance and associate all of your different assets or different components with each of your campaigns, okay? And okay, again, you can just click on any campaign and you'll go to the campaign page. Now you see up the top, we've got the different views, all campaigns starting this quarter and recently created. If you're familiar with HubSpot, which I'm sure you, I'm sure you are at this point, you can create additional views and obviously filter as well. And then we 
also can use a calendar view. Now, I'm a massive fan of this. This makes it so much easier to keep on top of, and this is where the color becomes really beneficial, is because you have different colors for different campaigns. And then you can see we had a task that was due today. We've got the campaign running all the next week. And then after that, we might start our Christmas campaign or anything along those lines. But this is where you can just get a clear insight into what needs doing. And we can skip from month to month to have a look at what needs to be done or what's going on, what our um, campaign calendar is looking like. So again, very, very useful. And then finally at the top, this is the task area. This will give you all of the tasks for all of the different campaigns. So we're on a more management area inside of HubSpot. So you'll see the different colors will come into play again. And it's a great way of managing all the tasks that need to be completed for any campaign. And again, you can filter that to just select which campaign. So if I just go, I only want to see the task for the um, example campaign or the Christmas campaign or the, whatever you're doing, you can just do that and press the apply button. You'll be able to see what needs to be done. So. Hopefully you are now familiar with campaigns. Hopefully this video has been of value and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to go ahead and start managing campaigns inside of your HubSpot system, adding assets to your campaigns and managing all the metrics behind it to see how successful or unsuccessful those campaigns were. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing. If you've got any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.